All right, quick video on this insane, crazy alarm. Although you would think it's so simple, which it really is, it's super simple. Um, I've struggled for the last maybe four or five hours trying to figure this thing out. And uh, come to find out, somebody, when they removed the system from here, they just soldered some of everything together. I've been uh, taking solder from some off of everything. I got my solder now right there. Removing solder from some everything and wiring it back correctly. As you guys can see, I just put the siren there for right now. All these wires was cut and all messed up. Not that this is the regular harness, but it comes from out of here. Anybody knows Mustang too? Only thing come from this side is this for the. Uh, this is for the rear defrost. Goes to a fuse link, link in fuse. So this was completely harnessed for. Um, I think it disables the ignition and it, it taps into the lights here for the signal and the mark for the signal lamps and the rear marker lamps. And also it, like I said, disables the start. It comes into here. This is the harness here, two fuses. Look at these, they all kind of mess up. I gotta retape them all. In a previous video I did, I thought this was specific for, I thought these this sensor, seat sensor came uh, on the Mustang 2, I thought it was just for a seat sensor, a seatbelt sensor, I was totally wrong. This is actually for the alarm. It's a sensor that goes on the seat in the event somebody busts the window out and get in the driver's side seat and sit down on it. And once you press it in, it, it acts like these pins. Like these pins, it acts just like those pins. Um, it, uh, alarm, it triggers the alarm, which is, I think is cool. Uh, give the vintage alarm that, that uh, they figure, hey, you bust the one out, you want to get in here and drive the car. So uh, sit on the seat. You got past, open the door so these pins won't trigger off the alarm. But as soon as you sit on the seat, you know, you can slightly press this in just a little bit, not, not even that much pressure, just a tiny bit throughout this whole entire sensor. And uh, the alarm goes off. It makes you, it scares you out of your mind. So um, I finally figured it out, guys. I've tapped into some of everything. I've, I've kind of newly tested all these sensors around this whole thing and chased this harness all up, trying to figure out what's what. And it's been preventing me from putting this side in because I want to go back with the alarm. I want to put that back here. I want to put that back. And um, after about four or five hours of this, going through the entire system, combing the system, like with a fine tooth comb, testing every single thing out with my multimeter, just continually testing things, testing for volts. I finally figured out how they just soldered stuff together to keep the alarm uh, from triggering off. And um, yeah, I got it now, I got it. It's hooked to this flasher, which makes it um, the light flash. Not only does the light flash, the siren follows the lights, opposed to one siren just going off like on a, a hurricane siren or something, like a, the sirens that goes off for when a storm is coming, a tornado or something. The um, sound is audible with the, the lights itself. So it goes, as the lights blink, the sound goes in and out, which I like that. I think that's pretty cool. I can hook it up to where it's just one audible loud alarm, but I want to leave it like they had it since I finally got it. So now that I've done that, my only issue is this is the original lock. I don't have the key for it, so it went to this system. Let me find the other part. It's here somewhere. This is the old system, so it actually, the lock rotated this to arm it, or it goes back to the negative side of the disarm it. So if you, these, these are not touching. So all this does is make contact within here um, and sends power to these. And once the pins, uh, hit the metal or once the doors open and the pins pull back off the spring hit the metal all it does is grounds out completes the circuit hence uh, making an alarm go off so just got a replacement i gotta find the cover i'm gonna hook this up right now and show you guys um, how this how it works with this but let me show you how i finally got to work with um, how they installed it on this thing so now i can finish the interior now as I put this back up. Let's connect the battery, let's close the door first. 
So I got it as if the key was turned to arm it, like so. So door shut, once we connect the battery, should be armed. All right, battery connected. And you guys can see we got power, you can hear the clock ticking away. All right, here we go. Why zoom out? When I open this door, that light shield flash. I got a bulb in that. That um, side marker light shield flash. Uh, that's the amber light. That's the red light. And the alarm should alternate with the lights. It should alternate with the lights, the siren. And here we go. It's just loud. I don't want to hear right now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. show you how it works with that sensor in the inside. I got this side disconnected because I was trying to figure out everything. So we can open this door. I don't think that light will trigger it off. All right. You guys can see I got it cut for right now. So now I figured out, now I know what to do. But let me show you how the sensor works. <laughs> You get in the car, you bust the window, you get in, you're thinking you're all good now. You've gotten away, or bypass the system. As soon as you sit on the seat. I'm gonna show you guys how the key, how I'm gonna make the key work because it's a different setup. It's an aftermarket. And I gotta find the cover that goes over this. And I'm probably, I don't know, I'm struggling trying to find the cover. I don't know what I did with it. This was two years ago. Got these gold terminals to mount to. So let me hook up and let me show you guys how we're gonna get this to work. I can actually show you how it's gonna fit here. But there's a cover that goes over this. That's nice, but that cover because I think you don't want the water to get into this. The cover goes this. I'm gonna show you and put the cover in the video right now. I can't find it. I got it somewhere. I removed it two years ago. I don't know what I did. I would have never threw it away. But I wish I could leave it like that because that's nice. Maybe I can spray some lithium grease in there to keep the <laughs> moisture somehow out. But um, this is holding me up. It really is holding me up from the interior. And I also connect that pin back but um, we're trying to go back just like it was and that's my goal i want somebody to appreciate this mustang for how it was uh, in 1976 with a little bit of modernization so let me connect this and i'm gonna show you but that's how it looks that's a clean nice little look but i need the cover okay guys i'm gonna mount the camera here we go with the keys let's see what we got the alarm is I don't know if it's armed or not. I didn't check the key yet. But we got battery, we got power, wires ran. Just all over the place for right now. I'm gonna clean all this up super nice. Um, let's see how we looking. Um, all right, let's open the door. Nothing, no alarm. All right, let's arm it. Make sure y'all can see this. Okay, we're armed. Keys. All right, once we open the door, we should get some, some action. Oh, my battery.
time. One more time, we're gonna arm it. We got to leave the key in it. So we can come out this arm. The key is inside of it. Let's go. Okay guys, so I have to remove this relay because this flasher, I have to remove it off of this relay. It was soldered on here. It had a screw in it, but it was soldered onto the terminal. And the bottom wire was soldered, which is this wire as well, because although the lights were flashing, the LEDs were causing it to go in and out and you know acting weird for so long after multiple uses. If you start it right up, it'll work fine um, for a while and then it'll kind of drown out and then eventually shut off. And I knew it was due to this flasher. I, I kind of figured, I bought a few of them uh, in advance because I kind of figured this wasn't gonna work for the LED lights that I'll be running in this car. We're gonna change this out, but I will show you guys that the alarm, um, here it is, the siren, because it's killing me. I'm trying to smother it out by laying it flat-faced on here because it's super and crazy loud. I'm gonna show you how it works right now. It's back working perfect, because I got a incandescent bulb in, but we're gonna swap it out to LEDs because we're gonna change that flasher right now to one that uh, allows me to use LEDs, which is an electrical, flasher, a new modern flasher that of course they're using in a lot of newer cars. It has a chip in opposed to the heating element in, in this flash that heats up and allows the metal to um, complete the circuit. Uh, let me show you guys how it is right now. Door shut. I think it's armed. Got the key right here. So we're gonna see if it works, you can connect the battery first. All right, pause. Oh, it's already on, but why is it on when the door is closed? Oh, I got the. I hooked, the, I hooked the passenger door up now, so the passenger door is working now, so we can close it. It just scared me for a minute, so uh, passenger door is closed, it's not working. I also hooked the siren up to a different a different way, because I don't want it to go in and out. I want the siren to scare somebody off when it comes on, by just staying constant and going and roaring super loud. So let me hook it back up, be right back. Right, I got it. Hooked up. So let's mount the camera so you can see what happens. Right now we know it's on, so we're gonna disarm it first and open the door. And disarm it. All right, we're disarmed. Now you open the door. We shouldn't get nothing. All right. We don't get nothing. So we're not getting anything. Now let's. Is my lens clear? Let me clear this lens up. 
All right, we're armed now. And this thing should go crazy how I want it now. And the light should flash. Mind you, I don't have a bub in here anymore. Just the one incandescent in the front. Now, we're gonna disarm it, and let's install the new flasher. And put the LEDs in. So here's the new flasher. Bought a couple of them. Only, you only can hook this one way. L is for the load. The load is gonna be pulling, and uh, the BS, the, well, the power comes here in that. So let's install this now. All right, super easy, quick installation. Oh, one. Now let's install back the LED bulbs, and we should work perfectly now without it going out or acting crazy. And put these bulbs, same bulbs back in. All right, bulbs back in. I'm not sure which one is the amber or which one is the red one. It doesn't say it on the bulb itself, but we're in front and back, and the alarm is still armed. It's still armed. So, let's off the camera and see what we got. So I can wrap this up. This is for the front. Let's swap them out. thing is busting my ears all right the only thing i'm missing now is the the cover for this i'm gonna i can't find it uh, hopefully i'll bump into it before i'm done with the car because it's stopping me from putting this large panel on back here so i'm just gonna wire all this up and make the key uh, put this in i got a rubber washer for this so it won't leak water through here I got a rubber washer to go on this and uh, hopefully I can find that cover. I'm gonna wire this up nice and neat. This is just for the my testing phase. I make this look real nice and tape it up real good. Put everything back. I even put new fuses over there. You guys can see the mess. Oh, that's new. The old ones was messed up. I had it a little bit better, but um, yeah, that's that's it. We should be all good now. So. Stay tuned for the next video. I got some cool stuff coming. I got some really cool videos uh, coming up on um, other things. That looks clean. I gotta find that cover though. <laughs> That's clean. And we're in there secure. Got a rubber washer on both sides. So no water can get on it. Clean look. Rubber washers on both sides. Now I'm just gonna get a pin for this. This all wrapped up there. This goes to this. Um, we're on, we're working. This is cool for right now, and it's clean. Clean look. So, just a quick bonus what I've done. I guess I'll add this in now. Just I have put this installation on here, it turned out real nice. Got a better circle than that one over there. You know it looks good, but got a better circle here. A little bit better circle. Use a sharper blade, but 
that's pretty much on here real nice and also uh, something i didn't like that didn't sit well with me just trying to find what i did i cut some things off Cut. I don't know what I deal with it, but I cut, I shortened this cable. Somebody had taped it there. You guys can see that. I didn't do that. I did cut it and I used these wire connectors. Gonna remove those. Um, I did this side, completed this side. Um, soldered the wire together and used some heat shrink. Better, cleaner look. Now it's gonna retract in because it's all that excess cable like this side. It wasn't allowed to retract and kind of gave it a sloppy look and the cable was actually resting on here when you shut it and we wanted to draw in so i got it held there i cut quite a few of it off i cut some of it off a nice amount of it off and just a nice solder solder that together and a clean pink shrink on it now i got a way cleaner look much cleaner look so i'm gonna do this side right now Cut all that excess off. Let somebody ran and just taped it together. All kind of crappy look. And heat gun, the solder, and the shrink that I'm using, the heat shrink tube that I was using. I'm actually using this size here. So I'll get another one ready. But this is the solder I'm using. I'm gonna solder that other side together right now and shorten it so you guys can see that it's gonna retract real nice now I'm opposed to just laying flat as you can see it's making grooves in the weather strip and I don't like that it looked tacky so just want to throw this little clip in since it just was a small detail and I don't want to film a whole video about it so uh, I guess I'll be putting in this large trim next and then we'll be working on the seats I'll be filming the seats but I won't film me doing uh, this large panel since I've done this out already. And um, I'm doing this party tonight, but I'm gonna do this right now. Just already got it set up to do a cut that access off and do it right, make it look nice. That's gonna be tracked in pretty good. That's better now. Better clean look. Let's see how it's gonna work. So let's track them in as far as they can go in. Got a little bit hanging out on both sides. Way better. Much, much better. Have equal amount on both sides. Much cleaner look. Let's go up with it. One for the road. That's something I'm talking about. Way better. 